本节目是由哈达拉波科技为您呈现。你正在收听的是原创 Shock Podcast。永恒之美。Welcome to the Shock Podcast, Timeless Beauty, brought to you by Hada Labo Koji. Now I'm your host, Kalista. And in case you're surprised why we're doing this podcast in English, it's because we've got a very, very special guest with us: the founder and CEO of the brand, Christy Ng Shoes. Welcome, Christy. Hi guys, thanks for having me. Most people will know who you are, but just in case any of our listeners are like Christy Ng, that sounds familiar. Could you introduce yourself a little bit? Hi, I'm Christy, and I am a shoe designer. Basically, I design, I manufacture, and I also retail、uh, my own label. It's called Christy Ng, and we carry a wide variety of women's fashion shoes and handbags. Yeah, so you might have seen her stores in some of the malls. I always walk past. I'm like, wow, this store itself looks so international, and I love that. Oh, th- thank you for your compliment. We are still improving. <laughs> <laughs> well, with this market, most people will choose to do clothing and stuff like that. So, why did you choose to do shoes? I think I've always been really, really fascinated about shoes. It's my passion, and、uh, I've always wanted to be a shoe designer. But you know, coming from a very strict Asian family background, you know, your parents only want you to be professionals. So anything to do with art and fashion to them does not bring home the bacon. I didn't have the opportunity to study fashion or shoe design when I was younger, so I only pursued this at a much later stage in my life once I've graduated. Why shoes? It's because it's the one thing that makes my world go round. I, I'm just so passionate about it. Well, I guess you you kind of proved them wrong, right? <laughs> yes. <laughs> And now you've kind of expanded out into not only shoes. So will you expand even further down the line? Currently, we are focusing on complementing accessories to our footwear. So we have a lot of handbags and. Our bag range has grown tremendously across the past two three years. So it's mainly footwear and complementing accessories. No plans to go into clothing at this moment. I see. I see. Okay. So I'm sure with running a business, there's lots of things that you have to encounter and overcome, right? So how would you overcome the problems and difficulties that you face so far? Well, every day it's um it's a battlefield. I think、uh, having a very very strong、uh, mindset is very important because every day the challenges that can Pop up are very very different from the challenges that you experienced the day before. Everything is so unpredictable, so you've got to be prepared. How do I overcome? I think I don't have the right answer for it, but I think most importantly, you need to be mentally strong to overcome whatever problem or obstacle that comes your way. Because being a business owner, you know, being an entrepreneur, it means firefighting every single day. That's what being an entrepreneur is. It, it is tiring, and it's not for the faint-hearted. How do I overcome? I think I have a very, very good team. And my team is my backbone. They are able to help me troubleshoot the problems that I face every day. Having a good team and、uh, having good team spirit, team morale does help me overcome the challenges as they come. Do you have like a motto in life that you like to follow? Yeah, I think my favorite motto is、uh, going from failure to failure with no loss of enthusiasm. Wow, I love that. And I think like a lot of people think doing business is easy, right? But it's There's so many things that go on behind the scenes that people don't realize. Yes,、uh, doing business is really tough. It's really, really challenging, and there's so many moving pieces. It's very different from、uh, being a professional. If you are working for someone, you only have very specific job scopes, possibly one or two, may- maybe three or four different job scopes. But that's about it. But if you are an entrepreneur and if you own the business. You have to do everything from A to Z. You know, there are like never-ending job scopes. It can be very overwhelming, and th- that's what makes it very difficult because you have to do too many things at one go.、Mm-hmm. And I'm sure because of that, like you're always very busy, right? So probably working in an air-conditioned room all day, staying up late, eating irregularly. I think these are all the things that when、yes. you're busy always happen. So. How do you manage to keep your skin looking so good? Because I'm looking at you right now, and your skin is flawless. Oh, thank you so much. Apart from doing exercise and having a really good,、uh, nutritious and balanced diet, even though it's at irregular hours, <laughs> I would try to make sure that you know I carry out my regular skincare routine every day. So basically, I start by double cleansing my face with both makeup remover and cleanser. Followed by you know using some lotion, serum is very important, and of course moisturizer because I sit in an air conditioned room、uh, half the time, and the other half of the time I may be under the hot sun, and、uh, that causes my skin to you know be dry. So I think moisturizer is very very important because I need to make sure that you know my skin feels hydrated all day long. 
it is very, very important because once the skin is hydrated, you're less likely to have dark spots, fine lines and oiliness as you age, I think it's really, really important to keep your skin hydrated because it would definitely slow down the aging process if your skin is well hydrated. And that's why I use lotion as the first step after cleansing my face to make sure that my skin is fully hydrated and is able to reap you know, the benefits of whatever skincare I apply fully. And using the right skincare, of course, is really, really important, which means you have to understand your skin type and choose the correct product that best suits your needs. I mean, I totally agree with that. Like for me also, I feel like serum is one of the most important steps, which you're not always told. Like I feel like serum is always described as one of those optional products, but I feel like that definitely helps a lot. And then of course, prepping your skin before putting on all the other skincare. So you were talking about using the right skincare. What skincare products do you use? After applying the Hata Labo Koji Treatment Essence, it helps my skin become more flawless, youthful and crystal clear. Especially after staying up late, I feel that my skin feels hydrated and, you know, fully nourished after applying this treatment essence. This range comes with cleanser, moisturiser and also a mask. I myself really truly believe in this brand and I think that, you know, if you've not tried it, I think you should give it a try. And of course, the price is so affordable and I always believe that good quality products need not be expensive or, you know, unattainable. Like how long have you been using this? Like what is the biggest difference do you see in your skin? I noticed that my skin has a very nice natural shine. You know, I don't have to put like shimmering powder on my skin. It has this natural glow. It looks cosmetically enhanced. So I like it. The moisturizer is very good. Once my skin is well prepped, my makeup sits better because my skin is very hydrated. It's as if I have a thin layer of uh, shine on top of my skin. Uh, that's why I like this product. I've been using it for a few months and I can see a big difference compared to the other products that I use. It's because of the shine and how clean and light my skin feels on my face. Wow. So you've been doing this for a while. So at what age did you start having the concept of like really going into skincare? It was only in my early 30s that I started thinking about skincare. When I was younger, I did not really pay much attention. Then when I, as I age, oh, sadly, as I age, <laughs> <laughs> the minute you, you know, when I sleep late, it's very obvious the next day. You know, when you're in your early 20s, uh, even if you don't use much skincare, it doesn't look very apparent. But when you hit your 30s, skincare is the most important thing ever. And I encourage you to start young, you know, don't wait until 30 like me, you know, you should start as early as you can. You know, now you know, good products are very affordable. You know, when I was much younger, you know, good skincare was very expensive. One thing I like about Hada Labo Koji is it's very affordable, you know, even a young working executive or a student can also afford because the price is really good value for money and it gives you the results that you need. So I'm often busy with work and I often stay up late and um, my skin condition is very bad. So Hada Labo Koji Treatment Essence helps me to keep my skin nourished the whole day long. And um, interestingly enough, uh, this product is inspired by traditional Japanese sake brewing, which is the signature ingredient. That's how the signature ingredient koji was discovered. Koji is the sake brewer's secret to keeping your hands smooth and youthful. It is extracted from Japanese fermented rice and is rich in natural moisturizing ingredients such as uh, amino acids and vitamins. That's what explains the long-lasting moisturizing effect that I have on my skin and it does help me repair those tiny fine lines and enhance my skin's radiance. That's why I can see that natural gleam, you know, that glow on my skin. You know, every time after washing my face, I sleep at night. Next morning, when I look at myself in the mirror, I can still see that shimmer on my skin. So that's why I find that the results are very impressive. You can see it almost instantaneously you can see that shine very quickly and I feel that it can help my skin become more youthful more flawless of course and clear as I said no I sleep late and as after I hit my 30s when you sleep late everything becomes very visible especially fine lines so using a good product can help you slow down the or reduce the aging process <laughs> I mean, I know this is a podcast, right? But I really wish we were doing this on video because as soon as Christy said, oh, I only started using skincare when I hit my early 30s, I'm like, girl, you look like you're in your late 20s still. So this, whatever skincare you're using, it's working. Yeah, maybe if I started earlier, I'll look even younger. <laughs> <laughs> maybe I'll look in my mid-20s if I started earlier. <laughs> I was just wondering... Because you said like initially your parents were not very supportive of going into this kind of industry. So if you were not an entrepreneur, what career would you choose instead? Oh, this is an interesting question. <laughs> I, I think I, I love teaching and uh, I'll probably be a teacher. Wow. Yeah, I know it's very strange, right? <laughs> it's very different. I would yeah. say it's very strange. It's very <laughs> different. But if, if you were a teacher, what, what subject would you have chosen to teach? 
probably biology or history. Wow! <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were going to say arts and I was going to say like, oh, your parents are going to be arts again. <laughs> yeah, I love teaching and I love mentoring young people. So I think that's something that I'm also passionate about. Okay, and I think your passion in everything that you do kind of like really shines through. And I feel like a lot of people are going to be very inspired by your story. So how do you define timeless beauty? I think timeless beauty is someone who takes care of her appearance, stays fit, healthy and young, while managing all the events in life for both career and family. Her true story and the way she view life can inspire more women to believe in themselves and achieve greater heights in life. All right. I think that's a great way to end the show. Thank you so much, Christy, for being on the show. I feel like I just want to say you're such an inspiration with everything that you do. You're so busy. You are an, an entrepreneur. You're an icon for women who want to become entrepreneurs. And of course, through your beauty story as well, <laughs> I'm just blown away. So thank you so much. And I think that this story is going to inspire many, many people. Thank you so much for having me. Hadalabo Koji, Winnie Dazao, Usha, Nian Ching, Jing Ying Tito, the Jifu, 